the spiritual journey is a journey within and yet it is a long one so if the results we aspire for do not come right away we must not become disappointed to continue to persevere is a great virtue let us learn this from the life of madhusudan saraswati who was a great vedanti and a disciple of the shankaracharya sampradaya he was fond of traveling around india engaging people in scriptural debate or shastra However, in Kashi, he met a Mahatma who accosted him, Madhusudan. When you defeat others in debate, does it make you happy? Madhusudan said yes. And if you are defeated, sometime once in a while, do you feel bad about it? Madhusudan said, I do. Mahatma ji said, if you are oscillating. between the dualities of happiness and distress due to success and failure then you are not in a dwait and you are going around defeating people only increasing your pride madhusudan realized that his heart was yet impure he said maharaj how will i purify myself But what he said go to Vrindavan and do Shri Krishna bhakti Madhusudan obeyed he reached Vrindavan and he engaged in devotion of Lord Shri Krishna for a full year however he did not get darshan or vision of the lord so feeling disappointed he was leaving that divine land when he met another mahatma at the periphery mahatma ji said madhusudan you became disappointed so quickly madhusudan said how do you know who are you mahatma ji said i am someone i will not reveal that to you madhusudan said i did not get darshan of shri krishna can you help me mahatma ji said I cannot help you get darshan of Shri Krishna directly but I have influence over a ghost. Would you like to see a ghost? Madhusudan thought if I don't see God let me see something at least. So he said tell me what is the sadhana to see the spirit. Mahatma ji taught him the sadhana. Madhusudan went off but he did not get darshan of the spirit either so again dejected he was leaving when he met mahatma ji once again mahatma ji said what's the matter madhusudan said maharaj your ghost did not give me darshan mahatma ji called the ghost and asked him why did you not reveal yourself to him the ghost said maharaj i wish to but the effulgence from his body is so strong the moment i go close i start burning madhusudan then realized the devotion he had been engaging in had been resulting in progress which was not immediately obvious he now got a confirmation that his effulgence had been increasing So he returned and again engaged in dedicated sadhana for three years. Finally, when Lord Krishna revealed Himself, Madhusudan turned his face away. Sri Krishna said, "Madhusudan, why are you doing a mood off?" Madhusudan said, "Maharaj, why did you take so long?" Sri Krishna then revealed to him mountains of sins. He said your accumulated sins of endless past life times had to be burnt. Your heart had to become totally cleansed. I was waiting for that to happen. 
So, if our desired results do not come, that is no reason for us to lose heart. As long as our goal is correct, our intention is pure and sincere, we must persevere with this faith that by the grace of God and our dedicated efforts, we will definitely reach that noble goal one day.